Hi everybody, it's Dr David Moffat here in Burrowang, New South Wales and it's Wednesday afternoon and I'm talking to Dr Jesse Green in Canberra. So he's uh, one of my closest neighbours really, almost, almost. Uh, not far down the road and uh, Jesse, good to have you on the, on the call. Thanks for being uh, able to talk with us this afternoon. Um, it's, uh, it's great to have you. We're talking about the event that uh, we're putting on in Marimbula next month for which we've called the Dental Fire Aid Extravaganza. And we're putting it on because the town of Marimbula are badly hit by bushfires uh, and the effects of bushfires and the after effects of bushfires in that uh, normally 4,000 people live there, swells to 40,000 people over Christmas. They didn't get the 40,000. So a lot of the businesses are struggling because they haven't got the income to ride through the quiet time and uh, they need economic stimulus now. They don't need donations. They take a long time to hit the ground. This uh, meeting's going to be good. We're going to attract 200 people for uh, two nights, maybe three or four days, and really um, get the cafes, get the restaurants, get the tourism, get the accommodation, get the bars, stimulate their economy, and hopefully for the people in Marimbula, start this as a sequence of events that other industries will use Marimbula as a destination. So it's, it's, I'm quite excited about what it's become. But Jesse, you're going to be speaking there, which is fantastic. Can you tell people uh, watching this video what you're going to be speaking about at the Dental Fire Aid event? Yeah, well, firstly, David, thanks for the invitation to speak. Uh, I'm super delighted to be involved. And what I'm going to be speaking about is really trying to tie together a couple of threads. And I know you've got a couple of other great speakers talking about some clinical procedures and how to introduce certain clinical things to the practice. And I want to talk about how to introduce a new procedure into the practice and do it in a commercially successful way. So yes, they're going to learn the cl clinical skills from other presenters. I want to talk about the business side of that and how to introduce those uh, services into the practice commercially um, and profitably. Jesse, you do a lot of coaching of uh, dental practices. And uh, you know, one of the things that, uh, that you and I have both found about dentists is that sometimes they are really bad business people. They're great clinicians, but yep. they've got no business brain. And that's, that's not their fault because no. business isn't taught in dental school. So uh, I think, you know, sadly, as you probably found too, uh, in America, half the dentists don't even want to be dentists. Uh, yeah. you know, they, just don't, they just don't have the motivation. Yet, Dentistry, when you realise what a what a great um, business it can be, how it can help you uh, employ other people, it can provide uh, impetus in your local business community, but it also helps you to provide for your family and for the future of your family as well. So your topic is very topical because we've got some great clinical um, speakers as well as some great uh, customer service and procedural speakers as well so you're going to tie all that together that's uh, that's really fantastic jesse on the uh, agenda we've got 15 speakers who else on the agenda are you looking forward to hearing from well there's a lot of really good speakers and so i feel like if i name one i feel like i'm not, it's like one of those things, name your favourite child, right? So I'm looking forward to hearing all the speakers. So let me just say that up front. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing your lovely Bride Jane speak, of course. I'm looking forward to uh, hearing lots of people speak. Um, I'm actually really keen to hear um, Charles speak, and I'm really looking forward to hearing Julie speak. So I think there's going to be uh, a lot of interest in all the speakers but on a personal note i'm really keen to hear those guys speak because i have i've heard a little bit about them but i just want to know a bit more so um, i'm really looking forward to hearing how those guys um you know show up and and watch them do their magic and I'm, i know that's going to be awesome yeah it's uh i just keep looking down the list of people and i think that uh what a great list uh we've managed to put together uh, you know in organizing it uh as, as you know you know initially craig newman said uh you know mm. the area yeah he sent me an article you know don't holiday in bali come to the south coast and i thought that's a good idea and i said well you know why don't i get jane to speak down there and then within 24 hours we turned it into a two-day event because he said who else can come and and you were you were on the top of my list uh, because i know you uh privately but all the others i know pretty well as well and it, and it was it was really great to just call people and have them say yeah i'd love to help and so what made you want to speak at, at, at this event? 
look, I, I guess there's a couple of things, Dave. You couldn't help but be touched or affected or shocked, dismayed by the extent of the fires. And you know, the South Coast community down in Marimbula and the Bega Valley generally, they really got hit. And further down, up and down the coast, of course, they got hit as well. But speaking about the Bega Valley, um, you know, we've got a lot of friends in that area. We, I'm in Canberra, so the Bega Valley is a place that we go to regularly. I've got property in the Bega Valley. I was talking to a friend of mine today, and if you look at his property on, on Google Maps, you know, all sides of his property are burnt and black, but there's this little green patch where he's, was, his property fortunately survived, and, but he was lucky. He was very lucky. And in 2003, Canberra got hit by the bushfires um, a long time ago, and we had some fires recently, but nothing like down there. But in 2003, one of my patients perished in those fires, and uh, it was incredibly sad, incredibly devastating. And I remember Canberra trying to recover after those fires and how difficult it was. So of course, knowing what that was like when you rang and said, look, we're putting on this thing, can you help? You're kind of like, of course, it's a no brainer. I'll do, you know, do whatever I can. And, um, and so, yeah, very, very happy and delighted to be part of it. So thank you for extending me the invitation. Yeah, it's, it's funny, you know, having lived in Sydney all my life, but you know, for the last seven and a half years, having this place down in the Southern Highlands and then for the last year and a bit living here full time, never really realised what a bushfire threat is like. And although I thought the fires were a long way away from us, when they're 25 k away and it's blowing a gale in your direction from the fire, it gets quite scary with the smoke and then the darkness and not knowing whether embers are going to appear. One of my, my uh, friends down here had lived in Barrel. Uh, all his lot, you know, all his adult life, and he moved to Exeter a month before the fires went to Exeter. And his four neighbours, uh, three of them had fire on their property, and he he wow. said like he his his wife had to, she she just lost it. She just wasn't mentally able to cope with it. My my wife was really good and systematic about things, but you you never think you know I'm looking at this little window here now, and I've got you know, 60, 70 metre tall gums there, you know. 50 yards from the house and you think it's not so much them, but what's on the ground as Absolutely. well. Yeah. It's, it's hard frightening. work. It's, it's it is. Frightening. And so, yeah, I, I can remember being in Bateman's Bay when those 2003 uh, fires went, uh, were in Canberra and the sky in Bateman's Bay just went black and that's a long way away. It's, yeah. uh, I, I don't know what, it, what, it, what it's like to, to be facing that wall of fire, but it was scary enough uh, mm. here. So yeah, and that's, I guess, you know, your reaction, uh, what can I do to help? That's what it's been like. And, uh, you know, having people like uh, Dr. Christina Kane, she's flying in from Brisbane. You, you, uh, you know her well. You went to dental school with her. Yep. I did go to dental school with young Chrissy, although she wasn't Chrissy Kane back then. She married one of my school friends, actually, David Kane. Yes. So it's, it's like it's a small little circle. So, um, yeah, Chrissy's great and she's a fabulous speaker. I can't wait to see her as well. And um, she, yeah, she's amazing. It's going to be a really good day. Yeah. So again, she's just launching her speaking career and she was uh, she was someone who I, I thought would be ideal for this because um, uh, just watching her on TV this year when she, she stuck it back to David Campbell in an interview. Did you see that? I didn't see that. No, I have to go and check it out. I'll have to YouTube <laughs> he, and see. He, he, he said to her, he said, uh, he said, um, how often should you go to the dentist? Um, and she goes, well, how often do you go to the dentist? Like she hit him back, return serve. It was at the tennis and she returned serve straight at him. And he goes, oh. he, he was well, shocked. Well but, done. Uh, go Chrissy. Yeah, very well done. So yeah, <laughs> she's, she's going to be, uh, she's, I think she's going to really uh, be one of the surprise uh, speakers. This, uh, this is turning out to be a really great event. Jesse, thank you very much for being on the call this afternoon. Um, thank you for, offering to speak. Uh, I think the attendees are really going to enjoy what you've got to say, tying that all together with the, the new equipment, new procedures, because uh, the people who teach new procedures, they're the guys who know that a lot of the stuff never actually even gets back into the surgery. I know. So we want to, if people are going to go through and learn those procedures, we want to get them implemented and have them rocking along well. So again, David, I really appreciate the invitation to come and speak and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone there. Uh, so, ladies and gents, if you're in the dental community, please come out and support this event. There's been a tremendous amount of work by David 
Craig Newman and others putting it together. And uh, and David, I salute you, mate, for putting it together and to Craig as well. And um, let's let's make this a winner. Yeah, I, I, Jesse, I, it's going to be nothing short of a winner. So again, thanks very much for your time this afternoon, and uh, uh, really appreciate it. Thanks, Jesse Green. Pleasure, Dave.